Now let us derive an expression for the ambient circuital law. For that, let us consider a straight conductor, let's say, of infinite length carrying a current I. Let it carry a current from bottom to the top. Let us consider a point P, which is at a distance of R units from the conductor. Here, let's say x x dash be the infinite long straight conductor and r be the uh, distance of the point p from the conductor and let us consider a circular loop passing through this point p like this such that through the center of this circle this conductor passes okay let o be the center when you look from the above, this circle will be, this will be like this, clear, and the point, this point will be here, P, this one is the center O and this is the radius R. Now we have, we already derived an expression for the magnetic field produced by a infinite long conductor at a distance r, we know that and the direction of the magnetic field will be tangent to the point. So let it will be tangent to the point B. If we look from above, it will be like this B, where B is the magnetic field. Also take a small length dl, let's say a small length dl at the point P. Now let this be the direction of dl. Now what I am going to do is I am taking the dot product of the magnetic field and dl. And clearly this will be uh, and see at the point P, this is the magnetic field and if I take another point here, let's say a point R, the direction of the magnetic field will be in this direction and if I take a length, the direction of DL will be like this, clear. So I, I want to take the dot product of B dot DL. A, along the whole circle, along this close to loop. So I, I, what I want to do is, I just want to take the dot product and I want to integrate it. Along the, this circle represent, I am integrating it in, along a close to loop. This is equal to integral, closed integral. You know, see the direction of B and B is in this direction along the tangent also dl is also in the same direction so the angle between them is zero so we can write it will be b d l cos zero degree so this will be integral b d l now we already we already derived an expression for the magnetic field due to an infinite long conductor at a distance r we know that will be V equal to mu zero pi divided by 2 pi r. We derived it from the biot savart law. So this is equal to integral. Uh, you can write mu zero i divided by 2 pi r instead of B and then you can put DL. So this will be That is index. Um, that is this is equal to c mu zero i and two pi r all remains constant. So you can take that out. Mu zero i by two pi r closed integral dl. 
Now, if you integrate dl along this closed circle, what you get is the total length will be the perimeter of the circle. So, this is equal to mu 0 i pi 2 pi r. Integral dl is equal to perimeter of this circle. So, it will perimeter of any circle will be 2 pi r. So, that you can cancel this 2 pi r and 2 pi r. So, when you connect these two, you will get the line integral or the closed integral of the product of magnetic field and length along any closed loop is equal to mu 0 times the current enclosed by that loop. So, this is called the Ampere's, Ampere's circuital, Ampere's circuital law. Clear.